going on, y'all? We back here with another one, guys. We at the DC, y'all. Unfortunately, today's Friday, guys. I got stuck again with a Saturday load. I know I already said in my last video I wasn't gonna work a Saturday again, but turned down a couple loads this week. So some loads that I really didn't want to take, but this is what we're looking at, guys. Look how that looks. Right. Why would y'all put this on top of it? this back here just flopping around like it just doesn't make sense the way they do things here but you know i gotta catch it on video for y'all so y'all can see the madness but um so i said i wasn't gonna take another load on saturday but i turned on a couple loads during the week some loads that i really wasn't feeling to do um i got we got stuck with that 4600 4700 piece last week saturday they were trying to hit me with another one. I wasn't feeling it, so I just took some days off to um, get myself, you know, back on track, you know, heal up my body and stuff like that. So they kept sending me loads, kept asking me, and then they just put this one up here today, earlier today, and then I got the phone call. Oh, do you want to take the load? Can you can you do a load? Blah blah blah. Whatever. I said, all right, cool, whatever. So this one is four stops, guys. Um, we've been to all four of these places already. We have three in Connecticut, one in Rhode Island, guys, and pretty much, I think it's about 3,600 pieces, guys, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I think we got to stop at like 5, 7, 30, 9, 10, 30, and then 1, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so pretty much that's what it's looking like, guys. I'm really not happy about how this is, how they really did this, like, how, like, this, the, this right here is just bothering me right now. I'm gonna have to climb in there and break that down because it, it's just crazy to me. So um, anyway, y'all, uh, we about to get up out of here. As y'all can see, like the doors is open. My crates is down there, y'all. Um, my crates is down there. They got this new thing going on. I, got, I just got this trailer straight off the dock. So um, pretty much. You know, y'all see the seal right here. The doors was not sealed yet. I took it straight off the dock because it wasn't, it just, they literally just got it ready. And I've been here for like the last two to three hours waiting. So um, I got my crates down there by the security booth, y'all. We have to follow these new rules or whatever. So we're gonna pull up, put our crates in, try to straighten this out as much as possible and then hit the road. So I had up making our way up to Brooklyn, Connecticut. So y'all journey with me, we about to get out of here. All right, y'all, so I just moved the pilot off the top. Of course, we got pilots on. Thank God the first stop got a loading dock. I'm not sure if they got a pallet jack, but I'm hoping they have a pallet jack because I do not want to break this down. Like, this doesn't even make sense. It's the dead winter, and y'all sending, sending out pot and soil. Like, look at this. I had to throw these things in the corner here just so I could just not have to worry about the spill tomorrow. This, this, this is crazy. This whole system is just, it's not a smooth process. I should have been out the door already and everything, y'all. Should have been gone already. You know what I'm saying? I gotta put the crates in. I gotta put all this stuff together before I could leave out of here. It's all good though, y'all. We about to roll up out of here now. Y'all see everything strapped there, we good. What's going on, y'all? So we just hit the first stop, guys. We might be able to drop this stop off tonight. They just spoke to me, they asked me if I wanted to do it. So I told them, yeah, we can knock it out. So at least that way, I don't gotta get up at five o'clock in the morning. We can knock this out and head to the second stop at like 7, 7.30. That'll make my day a little bit easier. Um. We've been here already before, guys. A little tight spot. It's not tight, it's big, but it's just a weird spot to try to back into. I don't know what happened here. This look crazy right here. I wasn't like that the last time I was here, but it's all good. So we got a dock right here and everything, guys. Um, I'm hoping we could pull off that, them two pallets because that would make my job a lot easier. I really don't want to mess with that pot and soil too much. I want to be able to pull that off the truck and um, 
not have to break down that pallet of pot and so because that that's not fun so ah boy guys we might get lucky tonight man take a little pain for right now and drop off this load and be able to sleep later so we got a car down there he's in the way he might have to move because i need the space so i'm waiting to hear back what she want to do i might have to walk back around the, around the store just to see um if they're gonna want to take this load tonight she said she had to contact her freight manager or whoever or he's pulling off good so we ain't got to worry about him no more. So we could just back up the truck one, two real quick and start knocking, hopefully knocking out this stop, man. I want to get this stop done tonight, man. So it's been a while since I've been here. So we're going to see if I still got it, y'all. Hopefully I still got it. We'll see. Definitely. But let's see if we can get this stop unloaded. All right, guys. So we just got in that spot. Not too bad, y'all didn't take long at all so just want to make sure i want to see what the what the back of the truck is looking like if i need to slide the tandems oh no we off we're not even close we're a little off man <sighs> don't forget to fix this y'all so this is what it's looking like we're a little off Nothing but a little pull forward and straighten it out will do. We'll fix it. So, I don't know if sliding the tandems will do anything in regards to leveling the truck out with the dock. Oh, man. This is the worst time to have pot and soil. Mm. That's what we're looking at right now, y'all. I'm going to try to slide the tandems, guys. Hopefully, that makes a difference. I really don't want to have to break down that pallet, man. But when we come back from the store, guys, we will definitely see about sliding those tandems to see if we can get a little bit more height on the, on the back of the trailer to the dock. Might not be much, but it's worth a try because... Y'all know I don't mess with that pot and soil, man. I don't even see what's the purpose of us having to deliver that right now, but we'll see, y'all. So we about to head into the store. Truck down here, y'all. So we're getting lucky, y'all. We about to unload this trailer tonight. 6.30, guys. I'm hoping it'll be done by like 8 or 9 o'clock, and then we don't have to... <coughs> Get up too early. We slide in these tandems. As much as I can. All right, y'all. Let's slide the tandems. We about to get unloaded. I'll let y'all see the aftermath when I'm done. All right, y'all. So we just finished the first stop. All the stop signs. So that means tomorrow we ain't gotta get up at 5 a.m. We get to sleep in a little bit, y'all. So really appreciate this stop for taking it so early um i didn't get a chance to show y'all the pot and soil um my food right here the pot and soil i came out when i parked when i straightened out the truck and i came back they were already working on it you know moving it out of the truck so i pretty much didn't really have to do much because by the time i got back here they were like almost halfway done moving the pot and soil so Really appreciate this stop. Anytime I come here, never have a problem with them out here in Brooklyn, Connecticut. So um, definitely appreciate them for helping out because most stores, they'll stand there and watch you with the pot and soil struggling. So anyway, y'all, so we better close up these doors and I'll get back to y'all soon. What's going on, y'all? So 7.09 in the morning. I've been up for like an hour already. And uh, just pulled the truck out of the dock. We about to go and make sure our doors are still sealed. Nobody must have the trailer. Even though I backed into the into the dock, I kept the truck back into the dock with the doors closed. But it's always good to double check it, make sure everything is good. So seal is on, everything is straight. 
good. So we just gotta slide the tandems, y'all. So the next stop, we literally went to last week where we had to do that blind side around the building. So we're headed there next. And last time I was there, which is last week, they had a decent amount of people there. So I don't think we'll be there too long, but we are one step ahead of the game. Um, we got one of the four stops out of the way. So today should be like almost like a regular day without having to do four stops. So we just got three left, y'all. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm not sure how much pieces the second stop is getting. Let's see. I was just there. I don't even know why I'm going back. It's crazy. Um, they get in 978. So that means they're getting like a thousand pieces. Praying to God that there is no. Oh, I dropped the seal. I dropped the seal. I don't even know where I dropped it at. Oh, it's in here. Praying to God, guys, that there is no more. Pallets of pot and soil in there, man. Um, that's that's just what I'm hoping for. I mean, it could be other pallets, but just not that, man. I just pray that there's none of that. But this is the time of the year that you know they usually send out this pot and soil in the winter time. So I don't know, guys. But either way, we about to get moving, y'all. 7-Eleven. We got three stops to go, guys. Let's try to see if we can finish this up early today. All right, y'all, so we're here at the second stop, guys. Uh, man, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna make this U-turn. I wasn't expecting these cars to be here, but these cars is here now, so. Uh, it's just gonna mess up my whole day. Um, see, if these things wasn't here on the side, we could have made that U-turn. This wasn't here, this um, sand and all of that tractor would have been good to make the U-turn, but um, uh, I gotta figure it out, guys, but this place sucks, man. This place really sucks. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I mean, I go back into here and then I don't even know. These cars is in the way. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Anyway, y'all, so y'all already know this stop. We was here last week. And you already know the drill. We have to slant the truck to about like that um porta potty and try to back it around the building as much as possible. So that's pretty much what we're gonna end up doing, y'all. I got to figure out how to spin this truck around, so that's what I'm about to do now, next. Boss. No problem. I was just making sure you guys are back here. All right. So, 
Simple straight back tiles. We got about 886 pieces for them guys. Nothing crazy. But so far we doing real good. It's only nine. Minutes to 10 o'clock. We both will be here at 10 30. We finished that second stop pretty quick. So can't really complain about that. So we about to knock this one out and start moving on to the next one, y'all. So we just finished our third stop. And uh we got ourselves a pile of cotton soil for the next stop. I'm not sure if they have a loading dock, but I'm gonna try to get some footage from the dock. Oh, just got my crates. I'm gonna try to get some footage for y'all of me breaking that down. It should be good. I'm gonna try to get some footage for y'all of me breaking that down so y'all can see the grueling process. It's been a while since I've broken down some plotting soil but it's the same old process as always all right y'all so we just finished we way ahead of the game y'all um we got one more stop guys three down one to go guys we're trying to see i ain't really get to show y'all but we've been here already i think i i think i recorded here already but it's like a simple straight back but um so we have a case of pallet of cotton soil, guys. Cotton soil, sorry. And um, not really looking too forward to that. That last stop is in Rhode Island, um, 20 Post Road. Can't remember if they have a loading dock. I don't think so. But um, if we gotta break it down, we gotta break it down. It's 11.38, y'all, as y'all can see. We are way ahead of the schedule. Um, we're supposed to be at the last stop, 1.30. But um, due to us being able to get that um, first stop done last night, put us ahead of the game. So at least today, we won't be finishing like 9, 9 o'clock like last weekend. So um, I'm going to try to get some footage for y'all. I was saying it earlier. I'm going to try to get some footage for y'all of uh, me breaking down that pot and soil it's been a while since i've done pot and soil because they only send it out in the winter time so um i'm gonna try to get some footage of that and show y'all how the process is it's a really long grueling process i personally don't really care for the pot and soil because of the fact that you're taking it off one pallet to put it on another pallet and even at home depot lows like they leave it on the pallet and they have a forklift and come and take it off but here i want her dollar tree you gotta bring it you gotta break it down and it's a messy process guys and i'm just not really feeling it but not gonna complain guys i'm happy we're ahead of schedule we probably will be getting to that next stop probably like i don't know 12 maybe 12 15 or 12 30 i'm not sure how far away from rhode island we are but we headed to westerly guys so that's our last stop guys so we about to roll up out of here y'all we got to make a u-turn come around like what i'm showing y'all and head back out that way so we about to do that let's touch down at the ass stop guys uh, we got lucky guys they got a they got a loading dock guys they got a loading dock so not gonna be able to really get to show y'all us breaking down those pallets. We got lucky today, y'all. Um, we just have to move the truck over. That's about it. We gotta move the truck over more to over there. So pretty much that's what we about to do. And uh, today is not a bad day, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. It's not a bad day. Every load should be like this. Look at the time, y'all. 12.43. We're supposed to be here at 1.30, so... We about to just move the truck over a little bit. And we about to start getting unloaded. This is the last stop, guys. We got, like, about 1,200 pieces for them, so... This is our biggest stop for the day, so... Hopefully, we'll be done by, like, 3, 4 o'clock the latest, so... Let's see what happens. Yeah.
Hopefully we get it. We soon get up out of water. Um, I'm tired. Uh, I'm, I'm exhausted. It's freezing out here. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. But anyway, we gonna continue growing the channel, guys. All my supporters, I appreciate y'all for watching, guys. I'm about to get out of here. Please, again, like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever y'all gotta do, guys. I love y'all. I catch y'all in the next one. Peace.